Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Edwin Rutsch, the director of the new Empathy Center in Santa Barbara. You can see it uh, behind me. And I'm here today with uh, Tiana David, who uh, is the uh, a writer, producer, and the executive director at the Illuminate Film Festival in Santa Barbara, uh, California. So uh, thanks for joining me to uh, talk a little bit about the film festival and maybe how that relates to empathy. Oh, my pleasure, Edwin. Thank you so much for having me. I am a big fan of the Empathy Center, and I just feel like our organizations are so kindred. So I'm happy to be here. Would you like to say more about yourself, maybe, uh, by way of introduction and the and the Illuminate Film Festival, maybe how it came about and when it is and sort of the details about it? Sure, sure. So just a little bit about me. Uh, raised on Vancouver Island, was an early environmentalist, and that's informed a lot of what my life has been. I've been a filmmaker and uh maker of messages, let's say like messaging campaigns that put many times indigenous leaders next door to more well known like celebrity types and we put them together to convey a message and those videos have gone viral and actually helped raise a lot of awareness about protecting the protectors of the Amazon rainforest in particular and um, making sure that people take action in order to let's say protect 80 percent of the amazon permanently by 2025 that's been a big passion of mine um, i've been the executive and artistic director of illuminate for about a year now illuminate film festival originated in sedona it was founded 10 years ago in sedona by a woman named danette walpert and it's grown and grown and just become actually the leading festival for what we call conscious cinema or evolutionary cinema and um it grew so much that the board recommended that it actually move out of sedona which is very small and a little difficult to get to if anybody's ever flown into phoenix and then you rent the car and then you drive and so the board thought where could it be that would be a little more accessible maybe even a little closer to the entertainment industry in los angeles and um, able to penetrate a more mainstream audience because these messages that we convey in our films or i would say like the questions that we want to provoke more than the messages we're conveying we're we're looking to provoke curiosity. We're looking to provoke empathy and um, just that intimacy with other cultures, other viewpoints, other worlds that are not your own. That is so effectively done with the medium of film, right? I mean, you're brought so deeply sometimes into someone's life, into their experience, into an issue that maybe you've never even heard about and the power of the camera to bring you so close to a world that is not your own is it's profound and that's what we're doing at illuminate we're leveraging the power of cinema to create a world that works for all all people all creatures plants <laughs> <laughs> fungi i mean all of it <laughs> we we are interconnected and cinema helps us know that and it brings community together when when we're in a film festival situation like the illuminate film festival which by the way now that it's moved to santa barbara is april 5th through 7th it opens at the libero and then we're at fiesta 5 our hub of the festival is the community environmental council on state street and that'll be the box office and the lounge and where people go to compare notes about the films and panels they've just seen. Um, so yeah, really excited. I mean, I'll say that our all access pass say, uh, tickets, they're already sold out. So we're, like, we're feeling a tremendous amount of support, engagement, momentum. Now there's plenty of, of single ticket sales. So people can go online and figure out which films they really want to see and then buy individual tickets for those um and well, I, was then, going to, you, I was going to ask you about the role of empathy with your film festival because the empathy center we're really excited to be working with you because we're doing some uh, collaboration with uh, workshops and i was going to ask you about the role of film and the film festival uh for nurturing and raising the level of empathy in society and you've already started to uh, really to address that very beautifully 
And, you know, we have like Roger Ebert, who talked quite a bit, actually, about uh, empathy as a machine, I mean, or, or film being a machine for generating empathy and the importance of empathy and all the ways that film uh, nurtures uh, empathy. So, uh, and I, it seems like your topic too, being around consciousness and I think really works well uh, with uh, the work that we're doing here at the Empathy Center. I, I agree, Edwin, and I know I'm not the first one to recognize this power that cinema holds to bring us so intimately into worlds and people's experiences that are not our own. I mean, I think about a film I watched maybe six years ago now called Albatross, it takes place on a remote island. I don't even think there's any narration or any words, but I got so close to these albatross birds who are going and picking up these little shiny bits of what they think are fish, but they're plastic. And they come back to this remote island in the Pacific and they feed their babies this plastic, you know, and and that film with no words, with just an hour of images of the moms feeding the babies these pieces of plastic and then seeing the babies and the moms eventually die because you cannot digest toxic plastic when you're a bird. Um, and then just seeing what's left on the ground after the bird disintegrates. And it is so much colorful plastic mm -hmm. from our toothbrushes, from our lighters, from our Starbucks cups, from whatever, whatever. I mean, I'm getting choked up talking about it. Like those images seared into my brain and the empathy that I feel towards seabirds now. And we're not just talking humans, but it has actually changed the way that I walk in the world. It certainly changes the way I walk on the beach, which is now picking up all the plastic that I can see. So that's just a personal example. And I'm sure that everybody has their own personal example of a film that has really um, touched your heart in such a way that it actually shifts the way that you walk in the world. Um, so speaking of empathy, Edwin, you know, um, I mean, do you have an example of a film that that has touched you in such a way? Mm, I have so many different films that I watch, you know, just being tearful. You know, I, I just, you know, especially films where people are coming together, sort of bridging the the divides, the, the what what keeps them apart. And then maybe the romance ones, you know, <laughs> chick flicks, what have you, right? Where, you know, it's, it's about relationships and sort of deeper, you know, overcoming those obstacles to the relationships and people really seeing each other's humanity and, uh, and uh, connecting and, you know, kind of tear up, try to hide it a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I definitely, you know, deeply moved uh, by those uh, by films like that. And and yeah. how they have the power of bridging bridging those divides, which is what we're uh, really working on. And there's also yeah. the creativity aspect. You know, films, there's a lot of creativity uh, created and people just coming up with ideas and generating ideas and putting their, having their voice be expressed uh, out into society. And uh, we're also doing, you're also doing a, a workshop here at the Empathy Center, like a five day <laughs> workshop. If you want right. to say anything Thanks about that. Bringing that up, right. So on the heels of the in-person Illuminate Film Festival in Santa Barbara, we are partnering with the Empathy Center to do a workshop called Source to Screen. And the facilitators are Paola Di Florio and Peter Radar. They are award-winning filmmakers. You may know the film Awake, The Life of Yogananda, which uh, actually premiered at Illuminate 10 years ago and went, went on to create waves across the world in terms of one of the biggest spiritual independently released films that that we've ever seen. Um, these two people are are deep and authentic and um, skilled guides at guiding you into your own creative process. So whether it's a screenplay that one is working on or a novel or an opera or even a product, they've had people with conscious products that they're thinking about how to launch or um, how to bring to market and, and take in this five day deep dive, which Peter and Paula have offered at Esalen, they've offered at various locations around the world. Um, and and they you come out of those five days and you are clearer about why you're doing what you're doing, how this is serving the whole, and um, 
and how to take the next steps to to bring your creative project into fruition. So it's really a gift to yourself as a creator. Um, so I really recommend if you can give yourself a five day deep dive, uh, check out Source to Screen at the Empathy Center, April, let's see, it's 8th through 12th. And um, there's information on our website. So illuminatefilmfestival.com. And you can navigate to learn about the festival, learn about Source to Screen. And I just want to mention that one of the films in the festival is going to be Confessions of a Good Samaritan. And we're having Edwin speak on a panel following that film because the film is about a woman. It's actually the director herself. Her name is Penny Lane. She's quite a, a successful indie film director. And she decides to donate a kidney to a stranger. She doesn't know why she feels so strongly about doing this, but she just knows that she's compelled to give in this way. And so it sets her off on an exploration, a journey of why, why is she doing this? And she documents the whole process from start to finish. And so of course, what comes in is the nature of empathy and the science behind empathy. Um, so there's all sorts of interesting commentary from scientists and even, you know, talking about the brains of people who are deeply empathetic and how they differ and, and how empathy and compassion differ from one another. And I thought who better than to talk about empathy than Edwin Rutch of the Empathy Center. So that'll be on Sunday, April 7th again in Santa Barbara. It'll be at the Fiesta 5 Theater. And um, you can find more information in the exact times on the Illuminate website, illuminatefilmfestival.com. So we're really excited to have you on that panel, Edwin. I know that you'll bring a unique perspective. You've been in this world for, for quite a few years, I think. Yeah, 15 years, so uh, look, over 15 and growing. So yeah, well, great, uh, there'll be links in the, the in the chat in the uh, in description section too for how to get connected with the workshop and the film festival and i'm so looking forward to working with the illuminate film festival in the future i really see that film is a great way to spread the the message of building a culture of empathy bridging the political social personal divides in the country so thank you so much diana for taking a few minutes just to share about the illuminate film festival and I uh, look forward to seeing there. Thank you. My pleasure, Edwin. Thank you so much. And I hope to see a bunch of you there.